Hey guys, and thank you so much for tuning into my channel. My name is The Lady Designer, and today we are going to do another community zoo tour. And in today's video, we're going to check out Zoo de Vence or something like that, which is made by Sidronvert. Thank you so much, Sidronvert, for sending your zoo to us for showcase on the channel. We really do appreciate it. And for everyone watching right now, please make sure to click the link to Steam in the description of this video and make sure to leave a thumbs up at the workshop item if you enjoy this zoo because it really does help out all the creators out there for the appreciation of their hard work. And of course, don't forget to download the zoo if you like to check it out yourself as well. And if you have a finished zoo you would like me to check out on the channel as well, then please do make sure to read the description of this video of how you can send me your zoo. And who knows, I might be able to check out your zoo as well on the channel in the future. Now, without further talking, let's go and check out Zoo de Vance. I really do hope I pronounced that right. I, I'm, I'm not really that good in French, but I think it's Zoo de Vance. But quickly, before we jump into it, if you are interested in, in grabbing Planet Zoo, the base game, or maybe uh, some DLCs that you don't have yet, or maybe you're interested in, in some other games to play as well. I mean, summer holidays are coming up very soon. So uh, yeah, our channel is sponsored by Instant Gaming. So if you're looking for like most of your favorite games, please do make sure to check out the link in the description of this video because you can get some really great games with a nice discount via their website. And with buying any game on their website, you will not only get a great discount, but you will also be supporting the channel so definitely make sure to check out the link in the description of this video if you're interested in planet zoo or any other games with a great discount all right we have park zoo logique de paris or something like that and we have like this it, it feels almost like a park like somewhere in the city, like obviously the city is missing, but somewhere in the city of uh, Paris or something like that. Just look at this beautiful entrance. It's, oh, I love how overgrown this is. That is so cool. Oh, I really do like that. That is a really nice way of making an entrance. So I'm guessing that guests can like get like tickets maybe or something like that. Oh yeah, if you hear any rumbling or, or something in the background, it's um, there's a thunderstorm going on outside right now. So yeah, if you hear any weird noises, that is probably what you're hearing. Look at this beautiful building right over here. Bienvenue. And you can get like a ticket. And what is on the other side then? Is this like the exit shop? Oh God, it is. I think it is. I think we should go and follow the path right over here. I love all the green here. That looks really nice. Or is this, ah, this, this gotta be like this, this exit shop where you can uh, buy your, your last gifts before you leave the zoo. Absolutely love this. Oh, it's so spacious as well. Oh, look at all these things. I do know that you did download a few things. I think these are among them uh, like fonts and, and like definitely gift shop decorations are so hard. But look at these. These look amazing. You did add a link to your workshop item uh, for credits to all the creators that... Oh my god, that's amazing. For what kind of blueprints you did use? Oh man, these are too good. They are really, really good. Okay, as always, I'm gonna try to follow the right side. Now this zoo is not as big as the previous one. We we <laughs> we did lose. Um, yeah, it just didn't really go well. If you have not seen that one yet, it's it's definitely beautiful zoo, but I just made a mess out of the path that we were following, but the zoo was just humongous. Oh my god, look at this sign. The zoo was really humongous. I really love this building as well. That looks really good. Uh, but yeah, it's a super long zoo tour, but super inspiring. So definitely go and check out that one if you're interested. Oh my god, look at this. I love like the, the separation here. Like you have this fence, but it's almost like a little bit hidden away because of all the foliage and stuff. It all looks super natural. Really like that. 
This looks really good. I really love the foliage work here. Also, what is that? Oh! Oh my, I actually didn't realize. This is just the in-game fence. I barely use that one, but that works really well, actually. That looks really good. I oh, also really do love this thing. For food, I really hope we get some kind of more realistic feeders and stuff in the future. That will be just so amazing. Oh, this is a really nice habitat. So we can go over the bridge right over here. This is like a gate. Oh, that's like a staff path as well. Oh, that's really nice. So you can look into this beautiful habitat and to the other side with some lovely llamas, some snobby llamas. So we can follow the path around here this looks beautiful it's plain but it does look super natural oh my god look at that oh wow some gray seals here uh, you even paid attention like to your path for people in a wheelchair do really like that like other guests can use the staircase right over here oh this is beautiful Oh, I really love this underwater viewing gallery. This looks really peaceful. Look at that. I also love the watercolor. I'm not really sure what kind of color you used, but I like it. This is really nice rock work as well. How gorgeous. And the guests can look into the habitat from here. And then if they want to see them swim, they go down. Absolutely love this. And then they can also walk around here. Next to the glass. Oh my god, look at that. Oh, I love this. I love this. That it's like the different height elevations here. So it's not like stat. Oh my god, there are penguins here. I actually thought this was uh, more for the gray seals. Oh, I love this. I really like it, the different height elevations here, where the guests can stand. Ah, oh, this is so good. Your rock work is so good as well. I really love this. Oh my god, what is that? Oh my god, I can't wait to see that. But this is really beautiful, really well done. also love this overgrown feeling of the rocks right over here. How gorgeous. Okay, so we're just going to follow the path. This is probably the llamas on the other side. This is a huge habitat. There's another animal in here, or not? This habitat is humongous. <laughs> it really is huge. It's insane. Oh my god. Okay, guests can also see some African penguins more up close. I love this little ridge right over here. Just gives that extra piece of detail. I hear water splashing, actually. Is there like a waterfall or something nearby? Not really sure. Oh my god, look at this. Oh my god, that is beautiful. Oh, I love this foliage work. <gasps> oh wow, this is so good. Oh my goodness, this looks absolutely amazing. I love what you did here with the ropes to, to create some kind of netting feeling. That is just amazing. I really am impressed by the foliage and rock work in here. It looks so beautiful. So we can also go around here, but I just want to check how you did this one more time. So you have glass right over here. These are in-game fences and then this is open and then you may like this this anti anti climbing section yourself as well ah oh, i'm really really impressed by this this looks really good and then we go around here and then you have and that wait this is a different cat isn't it no it is it's not it's not it's, it's a puma, puma cougar right <laughs> Oh, look at that. Your foliage work is really so good. 
really love... I, I want to call it an aviary, but I can't. It's such a good big cage. <laughs> what a beautiful, stunning building. Absolutely amazing. Absolutely love this. Okay, we, we can go around there, but what is on this side? Unfortunately, the billboard, not all the billboards are working. I, I can't remember that you did send a link to download them. What is this? Just, it feels like some kind of art for a habitat or something. But I actually cannot see any animal. <laughs> I really don't know. Is it an art fork? It, it feels very, very empty. I want to check. Is there an animal in here? There's no animal in here. Okay, okay, okay. Well, at, at least I'm not going nuts then. <laughs> okay, we can go around here. Have a nice path. Oh, there's another path going to the right here. So I think we should just follow this. Wait, what is this? This is like just an empty grass field maybe it's some kind of work in progress area maybe it's some lions or or there's a lion habitat in the back that could also be so what if we follow this path it's so beautiful and lush right over here nice and green there's an information booth right over here huh oh i was actually expecting <laughs> some kind of habitat here as well but it's all right it's all right let's go and cross right over here because this path is going around the grass area right over here i can totally see gas just sitting here like having a little picnic eat the lunch they brought or something like that oh you do have some lions oh look at this Wow, that's a pretty habitat. Also really like the rock work here. Also like, like the color of this rock a lot. This looks really beautiful. I think the, I think the West African lion is very happy with their habitat. Really do like the front here as well. It's the same as the other habitat, I know that, but it looks really nice. Oh, look at that. Oh, this is really cool. Like, I can... I think that the rhino is not able to walk through here. Oh, wait, no, this is more like a natural boundary, even. But I, I think... I, I want to see that. I want to see if that is meant to... Yes, it, it's meant to make sure that the white rhino is not able to go down there. I, I, I can imagine it's not being super safe for them. But this is a beautiful habitat, Titan Third. So we have some giraffes. I think this is the... I'm not sure, actually. The pronghorn? No, it's not the pronghorn. Eh, why did I forget? Where are you? I saw one running around here. I forgot the name of you. What are you? Springbok. Yes, Springbok. But wow, what a lovely habitat. Also, again, to make sure, like... Some of the animals, uh, maybe it's 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 intended for all the animals, so they are not going to ruin the trees here. Really like this, this looks really good. So what do we have right over here? This is another viewing gallery, or more like an educational area. A nice little shady area as well. Oh, I like this. I like how green and lush this all looks. There's also a speaker here, so there, there should be some more information here as well. But I don't think it's working at this point. And this is then the other side. Just look at the beautiful foliage work here. Also, I think we should just look from above. Just for a second. Just to see how this is looking. It's, it's insane. It is gorgeous. Look at that. I want to build something like that now. That looks amazing. Absolutely love this. Oh, this is so gorgeous. Okay, yes, we've been here. So we're not missing out on this part of the zoo. <laughs> At least I'm happy to do it too. <laughs> that, that is not the case. Because we have no uh, <laughs> good experience with that in the previous episode. Oh my goodness. Okay, so we have the West African lions right over here. And then we have a different side here. 
This looks really good. Love the rock work here as well and the foliage. Really beautiful work. Oh, what do we have here? Oh, is that the Gamsbog? One of the animals that I and many others, like I, if I look back at all the zoo tours that we have done so far, I have not seen that many of the Gemsbog like habitats. I can't really recall. I think I only made one once in, in like a franchise mode episode. Look at this. This looks really good. Really well done. But I think that was it. I think so. Is this like, look at that front here. Is this like a building or is this like backstage maybe? So you have some toilets here. Oh, I like this. This looks really good. Ah, and then you have like a staff building right over here, like a vet. Oh, that's just cool that the guests can, well, it's not cool if an animal will be treated here. <laughs> but you know what I mean, that the guests can look inside over there. I really, really like that. I really like the structure here. That looks really beautiful. Also, again, like this space in between that you use like this electric fence here. Foliage work, the flowers, it all looks super beautiful. And these, the Gemsbok is definitely a very underrated animal. Do tell me in the comments if you agree with me, but I, I'm also to blame. I, I, I just, I guess, forget about them or something like that. I like it that you added them in your zoo. Also really do like this fence, by the way. I don't think that I mentioned it, but I like with the uh, Australian planks here. That looks really nice. So you can go and walk around here. This is so beautiful. Oh, look at that. You even have like this shelter building here. Oh, that's really well made. That looks really nice. And, and I was about to say it gives them a little bit more privacy, but it's not because guests can still stand here. <laughs> but I didn't notice that there was like this shelter from the other side. Oh, look at that. Also like the fencing here with the Australian beams. This looks really nice. Another toilet. Oh, giraffes. Oh my God, look at that. Oh, this is such a beautiful building from the inside. So what do we have right over here? We have, the, oh, we have the now Ledra, was it? This is the first time I'm seeing them next to my overview video of, of the pack. Oh, this is so cool that you added these guys in the giraffe. I really like this indoor building. Also, look at this gate right over here. That's beautiful. I like it. There, there are some natural sunlight here from the top. Oh, this looks really nice. Really like this building. A shelter area for like the ostrich and stuff. It's really looking good. Okay, we just follow this path. Oh my goodness. What? Holy cow! How many rocks? How many rocks do you want? <laughs> oh my goodness! It's your mangas! <gasps> oh my god, look at this habitat! Oh my god, I've never seen anything like this before. These are mandrills? That is beautiful! I love this habitat! Just what? I'm just speechless. This is amazing. Wow. This is so impressive. I absolutely love this. The viewing with that mountain in the back and, and all these climbing frames and stuff. The rock work is perfect. Absolutely love this one. Oh wow. I'm so impressed. Tell me if you agree in the comments down below. This is beautiful, isn't it? I'm I'm ah I I love it. I really love it. Guys, I'm not joking. I just I, bleh, bleh. I just I'm so impressed. This is beautiful. I think this is one of the 
best mandrel habitat we have ever seen so far on the channel. Absolutely love this one. Oh my god. Is this like some kind of reptile house tunnel or something? There are some toilets in here. Oh, there are! Oh, cool! Some exhibits in here. Oh, I love this. Oh, this is really cool. I love it that you added this inside of the mountain. Like, giving it, like, not only a function that it looks ex Ooh, that's a bright light. That it looks extremely good. But also that it functions as like this, this reptile house experience. Absolutely love this. Also really love the rock work in this one. Like this little shelter area here for the tortoise. Oh my goodness. I, I'm sorry. I'm still a little bit speechless about the... Oh, look at the lighting here, by the way. Oh, I love this. Uh, but I'm still a little bit speechless of, of the mandra. Ooh, that's such a bright light. Of the mandra habitat. Oh man, it's just so good. Okay, we can go out of here. I only do not know if we're missing out on any habitat on the other side. Oh my god, some otters! <gasps> I'm so happy to see otters are integrated in here as well. I love this. I also love... What you did here with the glass, just break it up a little bit. It's such a smart idea. I really do like this. Oh my god, look at the otters. Beautiful waterfall. Oh my god, the waterfall is coming from all the way from the top. I want to see that. Oh, oh wow. Oh. My god, you can't see that from the other side, but I love that. This is insane. Sidronford, how much time did this cost you? It's so beautiful. Oh my god, look at this. Oh, what a lovely habitat. Also really love the foliage work in here and stuff. Apart from, like, the huge rock rig. This is beautiful. I love your style. You can really tell, again, that you are such an amazing creator. And you have such a different style. How to play this game and how to create beautiful, inspiring habitats. It's insane. Really well done, Saito Invert. I'm so impressed by your work here. I think this is like a little shade area for the guests. I, I, guess, I guess they could need it. Oh my god, look at this aviary. I cannot say aviary. Thank you. <laughs> wow. Oh, I love this. This is so good again. Oh my freaking gosh, this looks amazing. Really, really well done, Side Invert. Oh, hello! Wow. Fantastic. I love the rock work here around the water as well. And how it's integrated in these mountains. It's fantastic, really. It really is. Absolutely love it. Oh, we have a beautiful building here. What is that? Is this... Uh, this is a different entrance. Or like a backside entrance or something like that. Seems close. Or like the old entrance. I think it's, it's probably some kind of old entrance. Look at this. It's insane. It's just... Uh, I can't wrap my head around that mountain. Like how you did that. We can go around here, but there's another path on the right side. Oh, this is so gorgeous. Okay, that path is coming out of here. Is there like a viewing gallery? Yes, there is. A viewing gallery to timber wolves. Man, I love how you are using these aquatic rocks. They're so good. You're, you're simply just using these aquatic rocks instead of the natural rocks. I, I mean, I don't, I don't think 
I can't remember you using any normal rocks, but it works so well. Are these like darker rocks or something? It looks like it. It looks like you did play around also with the different color scheme, but it could also be just the sunlight and the shadows. I, I could be wrong. Man, just look at this. Ah, <gasps> you have a shop integrated here. This is so gorgeous. Wow, I'm so impressed. Oh my god, it's so good. Just look at this. Beautiful rock work and foliage work here as well. Looks absolutely amazing. Really, really love this zoo. It's so inspiring. Oh, you can go under this tunnel. Oh my god, it's so dark here. Oh, but that bright light. Is this the way how we should go? Oh my god, it's the lighting. Oh my goodness. Oh wait, there's another viewing gallery here for the Timberwolves. Really beautiful. Really love this habitat as well. Looks really good. Is that the way that we should go? Or do we... I'm not really sure. Okay, let's go quickly there. So the light is not adjusting that fast. Where is this path going? Toilets. There is a gate. This is the other side of the mandrills. Right, okay. So I think we should just go back here and then this path will probably be connected to here but i love it that you have like these archways here wait what is that habitat we did miss out on this habitat how do we get there okay we can get there if we go around here to the left oh wow look at that you can go in here in the flamingo habitat love the structures here holding the rocks <gasps> so meerkats! Oh my god, I love this little box right over here. As a little shelter area. Oh, I love that. Oh my god, look at this. This is beautiful. Wait, is there a fennec fox in there? Oh, there is! Fennec fox and meerkats. I love these beams sticking out and also the rock work here again and some foliage. It looks really, really good. It's so impressive. Oh man, I can't, <laughs> can't wrap my head around that. It's insane. It's so beautiful. Okay, let's go. Can we, shall we just go inside here? Let's do it. Oh my God, look at that roofing. This is amazing. Oh, you can walk through here. Oh, you even have the rat crowned crane in here. Oh, this is so beautiful. Absolutely love this aviary. This is so fantastic. We need to we need to start building aviaries, you guys. It's it's oh, I enjoy them so much when seeing all these beautiful aviaries around here. I actually do not know if we should go through here. I have the feeling we are going to miss out on something. So I feel like we should go to the left side from here and make sure we're not. European badger. Oh my God, they're so adorable. Where are they? Also very beautiful habitat. I love the little pond right over here with the more dirty water. There's another view and gallery here. Let's see if we can see a badger here. I don't think so. But it's a really beautiful habitat, definitely. Look at the mountain. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 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 what's this? What's what's this? Oh, Eurasian lynx. Oh, it's super up close. Look how beautiful this one looks as well. What a gorgeous big cage this is. Oh, I love this. Look at the climbing frames right over here. Oh, it's so well made. Hi! Oh, so they can actually also climb up here. Oh, this is so beautiful. I really like it that there are like different type of roofs here, at least as far as I can tell. 
you did play around with like the robes and then this and and some different textures and stuff uh, or materials. I do really like that. Another educational uh, little corner. Love this. But I do really like that. Like it's it's giving a lot of uh, different uh, inspiration of how you can create these aviaries and big cage big cages. Oh man, just look at this rock work here as well. The different height elevations, how you're using the logs to to like split it off. Absolutely love that. <laughs> Puppy Rusa, oh my god, the most, the most ugly animal in the game. I mean, oh, hello, yeah, yeah, there are, they are. Sorry if I offend anyone, but they are. <laughs> oh, I love this climbing frame. This is so beautiful again. Oh wow, I love the climbing frames here and, and like, it's so beautiful. These light gray rocks work so well in this whole zoo. I, I really do like it. This is so inspiring. Really well done. It's so creative. You really are so creative, Sightrin Bird. Jaguars. This really looks so beautiful. I love it that you have so many different type of cats in here. Oh my god, look at that big building here in the back. Copybaras and tapirs, you guys! Oh my gosh, they can like really have a nice ba bath in here. Oh, this is so beautiful. Oh, I really do like this. Oh, Jaguar with a nice pond. Little waterfall here. Oh, I love this. Oh, you have a black one as well. They're so gorgeous. Oh my god, just look at this. The tree going out of the roofs here. I, I didn't notice that earlier. I like that. I like that you... Like, this is the way how you are still able to add, like, the bigger trees in here. Without them sticking through. You just work around them. That's fantastic. Oh, this is so much fun. Okay, are we missing out on anything? If we go... What is that? A Japanese macaque. Oh god, I feel like we are missing out on some things. There's like a restaurant building right over here. I'm actually very much disoriented at this point. There are giraffes on this side. But I feel like we did miss out, like maybe on the middle part or something like that. So I'm just going to uh, try and follow this. I love this seating area in here. That's really nice for the guests to also get some shade. They can sit outside under some canopies, but on the inside, they might be a lot happier. Okay, let's have a look. Okay, no, we have not seen the other side of the giraffes yet, did we? Oh, look how beautiful this looks. This is the other side of the giraffes, I think. Like, this nice shelter building again. Really like that. Look at that. No, we only saw the inside. Oh my god, look at that fountain here in the back. It's so awesome. It's really so cool. I oh, love this habitat as well. It's so beautiful. It looks so natural, so realistic. Like a few of these uh, these tree branches and stuff right over here. Oh, this looks really good. Yeah, I really do like this habitat. Love this. Wait, that's a feeder, right? Some kind of feeder, I guess. How beautiful is it's looking. It's so big. Oh my gosh. I think... Is there the building that we walk through? I think so. Wait, is there like a little sign? Oh, I don't know why I thought that, but there's just food there. I, I thought there was like a little sign. That's so weird. <laughs> Silly lady. 
Oh, this is the other side of the um, the rhino habitat. That's right. Love the foliage work here as well, by the way. Looks really beautiful. Oh, really do love this. Okay, but we did see this whole area right now. So now we can go back to that Japanese macaque area and then follow our way to that big humongous glass dome thing. Just look at the climbing frames in here. Wow, so many dot tree branches and stuff. This looks amazing. Absolutely love this. It's a pity because if I remember correctly, these tree branches are not climbable. So it's it's more like pretending like these are climbable and like the ropes and the beams, but some of the dead trees are not, and that's such a pity. But it's it looks so good. Climbing frames look absolutely fantastic. Okay, guys, we're gonna. I think we we came from that side on, on the right. This is the other side of some some more macaques. Get up there, or something. <laughs> So we can go, oh my god, look at that. Oh, what is this? Oh, the signs are not working. What a beautiful little island. I'm not really sure if there is an animal in here because I don't think they can reach it, but oh man, I wish they could because it looks amazing. This is more of the Japanese macaque on the other side. Man, I would love to see some animals being actually able to use these islands. That would be just super amazing. Another educational area right over here. Oh, look at this. Oh, there's more. Oh, oh, this is the outside. Oh my god, this is fantastic. Ah, oh, this looks so good. And everything just looks so perfect with like the water, the rock colors again, the climbing frames, everything is 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 so well put together. Absolutely love this. Some some ring to lemurs here. This is so inspiring. These islands, I love them so much. I actually don't make them so often. And I should because it's so much fun. And they look so incredibly good. Okay, we're going to go back because I want to see what that building is all about. Like, for real. I want to know. I want to go inside. Gosh, what a beautiful zoo this is. Really outstanding job. Okay, there is a, a fake aviary with a bird. I also really like this one. Looks really good. Let's go inside. Oh my god, you actually did it. Like these feel like these rubbers, right? Where you go through. Oh my god, also look at these. Oh my god, this is so awesome already. <sighs> Beautiful waterfall. Beautiful rock work. Tropical plants here. Look at this roof. Wow. This is beautiful. I am so speechless. This is so good. Some more tropical birds. Ugh, how you put down these branches. It looks so amazing. So extremely good. Some exhibits right over here. Some snakes and frogs. What is this? Look at that. Oh, you serious? You are just like, hey, this is an iguana habitat. That is so cool. That's so smart. Oh, man. I got like this little light here to, to stay warm. Oh, I absolutely love this. I love how you set this all up. Having like a combination of like implied habitats together 
with some real exhibits and stuff. Oh, it's so amazing. It really is. It's fantastic. So yeah, it might be that there's no animal in here. Maybe there the blacks. No, no, there were also habitats with normal signs and black signs next to them. So I'm not really sure. I was about to say like maybe when there's a black sign, it's an implied habitat, but I don't think that works for all the habitats that we have seen so far. Man, this looks so good. Oh, I wish there were more real animals in here. Unless I'm missing and missing out on them, but it would just be so amazing if Frontier would give us some real animals to make these type of habitats for. That would be just so amazing. Okay, I'm missing out on... Uh, oh, there's a little turtle. The terrapin. But yeah, swimming on its spot. Hmm. Oh, man. Like, this, this, this should be a real habitat as well. Some real animals living here, but unfortunately not. Same goes for this one. Oh, now I remember, of course. There's also the... Um, ah, that's right. Okay. There are, I, I think I think you mentioned that there are two versions. One with mods, one without mods. And I think for these habitats, you did have animals in them. But these animals are, are probably mods. Oh, yeah. I, I think that was the case. But nonetheless, this is beautiful. If, if you do play with mods, you, you can play this one with mods, I guess. And just walk around with some mods. But I don't there. People keep asking me why I don't use mods. Mods break my game. I already spoke to the mothers about that and they did not know what was causing it but end of the day I was not able able to like open the test file that I had where I had some mods in them and that makes me just worry for anything I'm going to build with mods I'm just not going to take the risk to uh, create something and not be able to open that file anymore I, I think especially when when you're a youtuber and you're Making a series, like imagine I'm going to use some mods in my city zoo now after 80 episodes or so and then I'm all of a sudden not able to play it anymore because I I was so silly to just install some mods thinking it would be alright. Like I can't take that risk guys, I just can't even though I would love to use mods and I know that a lot of people have no issues with them but it's just not a risk that I can take, unfortunately. But man, these habitats look amazing. Really, Sightonford. It's humongous in here, even. It's insane. Oh, you have some uh, red rough lemurs in here. <sighs> wow. It's so impressive. What are you doing? <sighs> this is so beautiful. It's so tropical and lush in here as well. Really like it. Oh man. What an amazing building. You must be so proud of yourself, Citron Verd, for this incredible work. It's such an amazing achievement. So um, we can go out of here, but I'm not really sure if we're going to miss out on anything. Look at this! What? Seriously? That is so cool! What? So, like, you you use the... This is the, uh, the other side of this small aquatic rock, and they, they almost look exactly like corals. That's fantastic! Oh my god, we almost missed out on that little part. But, oh man, this is so gorgeous. Another beautiful habitat or aviary here. Oh, absolutely love this. It is so gorgeous. Okay, what do we have here? Oh, this is the uh, black and white rough lemur. They are, they are just so stunning. Really, really beautiful animals. Beautiful habitat here as well. Gosh, it is so lush here. 
Oh my god, look at all these lemurs jumping all over the place. Oh, that's so cool. It really is really cool. I'm just following the path here, but I have the feeling that this is not exactly how we should walk. Oh, this is these are the islands. Yes, okay. Yes, okay. We, we're probably going to the right side. We have another tortoise right over here. Also really beautiful habitat. It's simple, but that is what, like, the tortoise doesn't need much, right? It looks really nice. Oh my god, you even have, like, this little indoor section. Oh my god, look at that! Oh, that's adorable. I really like this indoor area. Oh, you even have one for capuchin monkeys. It looks like there is a capuchin monkey habitat here, but I like uh, I like how you use all the branches and stuff. Oh wow, look at that! All the foliage is so different. Each each exhibit exhibit or habitat, they all look so different from each other. Really like that. You can really tell. It's not like you copy pasted just everything around. Beautiful foliage work here. <gasps> Wait, is that... Is this the exit? You're kidding! No! I don't want it to be over yet. This is the beautiful... Okay, let me check if I missed out on any animals now. Well, at least I can pet myself on the back here because I did not miss out on any animals this time. At least not that I could tell from the animals list. But jeez, look at this from the top. How impressive this looks. This looks fantastic. Also from the top. Citron bird, thank you so, so much for sending the zoo to us. This was such an amazing experience. Again, so different from all the other zoos that we have seen so far absolutely loved it thank you so so much and for everyone watching right now please do leave something nice for citronford in the comments down below and let us know what you all think of this beautiful zoo called zoo de vincent if that was it right i think it was <laughs> leave a like in the video if you guys enjoyed and subscribe of course if you haven't already and yeah i just really do hope to see you guys all in the next one thank you guys so much for watching bye guys